Hi guys and welcome. This is Gary for Amsterdam Vintage Toys and what you're looking at right now is what used to be a Wilesco D161 workshop. Um, normally you'd see the D16 machine with uh, what was it a whetstone, uh, a column drill and two saws. However I bought two of these because uh, I want a selection of steam machines in my little store. Uh, I bought two of these and uh, sight unseen and both of them were not good. So I decided to strip them all together. Uh, I could only save one machine and I 86 all the other stuff and put this, the, uh, this machine on this bottom and placed one, two, three figures with tools on them and a little extra, an extra transmission. So when you're done, watching or playing with these three uh, you can just turn it over like so unhook this like so put this on over there and then you can hook up all kinds of additional stuff which i'll show you later um, this is not just a little promo thing this will also function as uh, an instruction manual for the new owner now probably the new owner already knows this but before you uh, start a steam engine you have to loop everything that moves so Wilesco has made little holes everywhere where you can put a little drop of oil in um, I always use this so by Wilesco itself. Um, with every steam machine I sell, I will give you a free little bottle of this. Saves you like four or five bucks. Now, one or two drops in there, in there, and just twist it all around. Now, this is important. Don't know if you can tell, but there's a little hole here. One drop, and the same on the other side. Let me see if I can get it a bit closer. There you go, over there. Rotate it one or two times, and repeat. There you go. Now, there's a little oil pot in front. There you go, it's next to the generator. This is the generator. Unscrew this. Do this without putting water in there first. So it has to be dry. A drop. Rotate. One more drop. And you know what? Just for fun, one more. Now, close it tight and do that. Uh, you can also, I just did it, but I'll do it anyway. Put a little loop on all the axles. There you go. One there and one there. I already did the transmission. Now the fun part, filling it up. This, by the way, is a safety valve. Always check it if it still works. Yes, it does. Now, always, always, always use demineralized water. Uh, if you use regular tap water, water you will get uh, calcium deposits everywhere and you'll have to uh, run it with vinegar and water. Your entire house will smell. Your wife will kick you out. Lots of trouble. Don't do it. Just get demineralized water um, I'm filling it I think about halfway because it doesn't need to run really long oh. I'm a bit shaky sorry now if you're smart unlike me you warm the water up a bit just a few seconds in the microwave and it's warm enough it'll save you time in warming up 
and you'll be more fuel efficient of course um, as most of you will know you run this stuff you run these things on uh, dry fuel I use SBIT don't know what's available in the US but I'm guessing something similar uh, unlike the lubrication I will not send the fuel with it because uh, I'm not sure I'm allowed to ship that stuff being flammable and such now we're about one third there as you can probably tell just a little more oh I'm making a mess as usual now there we go when you're done always empty it and always dry it or uh, dry it very well because uh, they rust easily now this machine is I think roughly 40 years old maybe even a bit older um, be careful with it be gentle it requires constant maintenance it's a great toy but it requires constant ma constant maintenance um, when you're done I filled it halfway when you're done put on put back on the safety valve like so um, here's the little fuel drawer I already placed two little blocks of dry fuel one flat one on top light it let me put that back a bit so you can see what I'm doing um, light it it takes a little while to catch fire there we go good now that's what you're not supposed to do that's a big stain on my desk now and ow by the way okay there goes that part it's my first little film so forgive me the amateurism um, slide it in and now you wait for a few minutes there's a little pressure gauge over there uh, in Dutch we say manometer don't know what the English word is uh, I'm guessing pressure gauge um, it starts working from about a half bar which is let me see around 7 psi I think um, like I said I added the extra transmission so when you're done with this yeah I have to talk for a few minutes now sorry by the way uh, even though my name is Gary which is an English name uh, I am as Dutch as they come uh, hence the accent I'm sorry for any grammar mistakes and other stupid stuff I'm Dutch this is not my language um, like I said when you're done watching and playing with the little figures you turn it over and well, unhook the main snare, that one, hook up this one, and then you've got all the power from the engine going straight to this transmis transmission, and you can hook up stuff, like for instance this, which I will show you later. Um, what else is a fun part is, uh, this is a live steam engine, which means that the chimney will actually smoke, and any residual oil and water will be caught let me see if I can show you right here in this little drawer which you empty every now and again um, the thing will leak it's old let me see is this still burning yes it is now these will be the longest few minutes ever and I will just have to fill them, fill them with talk about this machine like I said uh, this war too uh, I cobbled it together I have one frame left so the floor the poles and the roof and I will do something really special with that uh, in the next few weeks I'm thinking of spray painting it black and buying a, a, a limited edition of the d16 machine which is uh, black silver and red and uh, I will add some extra special tools or figures or both it'll be something really nice but it's not there yet um, 
it's starting to make a little noise now. I don't know if you can hear it. Yeah, you can probably hear it. Um, I added these figures. So I really like them. I think it gives a little more uh, charm than just the tools. Although stuff like this is really cool. But I like the colors of the figures and it gives a real old school feel. It actually is old school because these are vintage figures. Uh, it took me a while to find them all. They're in great shape. Um, this one will actually spark in a bit. Um, so that's Velasco. That's Velasco. That's Arnold. Uh, however, Arnold uh, Velasco also made this one. Uh, it's all German, so quality, and it, it looks the part. It looks awesome. I will run it first, by the way, without the boys, because I want you to. Uh, I want to show you how well this machine runs. It doesn't look really good anymore. It's old. It's a bit tatty, but it works. Uh, I oiled it. I greased it. Uh, all the seals are good. It's not leaking. It's a great little machine. Let's see if it already is there. I don't think so. No, not yet. A bit early. Uh, like I said, use warm water so you don't have to wait all that time. So we're 11 minutes already and nothing happening. Wow. Um, this is almost as, as exciting as watching paint dry, I think. Here we go. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but we're getting there. It's starting to hiss a little bit. Um, let's see. Yeah, almost, almost. Um, next time I'll edit this part out, I think. Yeah. It's going nicely. All right. I always wanted one of these uh, as a kid. Uh, my mom never got me one. Strange, she didn't want to let me play with open fire and high pressure. Um, I've got a little leaflet here with all the Velasco machines. Is yeah, here it is. It's on there. Now this is how it looked. What it looked like many, many years ago. Let me get it a bit closer. Oh, sorry for the wobble. This is what it looked like many years ago. And this is what it looked like looks like now. I think it's nicer. Here we go. Do we have pressure? Yeah, there we go. Slowly, slowly. Yeah. Come on, come on. There we go. We have movement. As you can tell, it's running really, really quietly. It has to build up some pressure, so that's why it's slow. I should have waited a little longer, but I'm impatient, and so are you probably by now. Um, there we go. There we go. There's the power. Water's boiling. And as you can tell, it's really, really smooth. Okay, there we go. I'm stopping it right now, just a sec, if it wants to, yeah. And I'm putting the snare on and restarting it. Oh, my bad, sorry. I have to put it on the gear. There we go. Sorry for the noise. Well, actually the noise is half the fun. Look at all the sparks. And let me show you. Uh, can you see the smoke? There we go. Yeah. That's quite a lot of racket. Pressure is quite high actually, so it's running perfectly. Now this is fun and all. Let me see if I can show you the smoke. Yeah, I can look at the smoke. Endless fun.
So your scissors being sharpened, your wood being sawn. Look at it go. Now, if you get bored by this, which I don't think so, but it can, what you do is you get another toy, like for instance this one. Don't know if you let me see if I can. Long snare, sorry. I need this one here. There we go. Like this there. Stop it for a bit. And how's this? Hook this up. There we go. Oh, sorry guys, a bit of a bit of stage fright. It's actually just my shoulder in in the shot now. And there we go. Hook this up and let it go again. Now. This is just one extra toy. You can add like three or four more without any problem. You might even be able to run. Let me try if that works. Yeah, it actually works. You can run them all together. That's pretty awesome. Oh, sorry about the shaky image. So this gives you a lot more play value than the normal than the normal D161. There's also the D164 which has some which is a little similar but my my take is nicer I think. Um, that's about it for now. Let me just unhook this. There we go. It's still running on the first two blocks, so it is rather it is rather fuel efficient. Um, if you want to play longer, you just add one of these little S bit blocks. There we go. Put it in there. And that's another ten, 5 to 10 minutes. Now, never, when you're done, take the drawer out and never leave it in there because when it cools down, it sticks. And you'll have a hell of a time to get it back out. Um, for now this is about it, I'm going to play some more, this is Gary for Amsterdam Vintage Toys, you will see a link on where to see more pictures or even how to buy it uh, under, this, uh, under this video. Uh, this is my first video so sorry for the amateurism, uh, you'll see more very soon, thank you, goodbye.